presents Chinese Medicine in America. My name is Joel Penner. I'm a doctor of oriental medicine, a California state licensed acupuncturist and herbalist, and a professor of oriental medicine. I'm also co-author of the textbook, Zong Fu Syndromes, Differential Diagnosis and Treatment. In this episode, I'll be talking about the heart. It is very important at this point for me to remind you that even though they share the same names, the Chinese organs are vastly different from the Western organs. If you try to impose your Western understanding on the Chinese organs, you will get completely confused. Only in certain circumstances do they overlap. The Zhang Fu are energy or qi transformers in a complex bioenergetic system, and their functions relate to their qi transformation processes. The heart has six important functions that I will be presenting. First, the heart governs the blood. The transformation of food, or gu qi, into blood takes place in the heart, and, assisted by the spleen, lungs, and liver, the heart is responsible for blood circulation. Second, the heart controls the blood vessels. If heart qi is strong, the blood vessels will be in good shape, and the pulse will be strong and regular. If heart qi is weak, the pulse will be weak and irregular. Third, the heart manifests in the complexion. If heart blood is abundant, then the cheeks will be rosy and lustrous. If heart blood is weak, the complexion will be pale or bright white. If heart blood is stagnant, the complexion will be bluish purple. If there is heat in the heart, the complexion will be overly red. Four. The heart houses the mind. Housing the mind is dependent on an adequate blood supply, and an adequate blood supply depends on the heart's job of governing blood. It is said that blood is the root of the mind. Heart blood embraces and anchors the mind. The state of the heart blood will affect all mental and emotional activities, including consciousness, memory, thinking, and sleep. If the heart is strong and the blood is abundant, there will be normal mental activity, a balanced emotional life, a clear consciousness, and good sleep. Deficient heart blood results in mental restlessness, depression, anxiety, and insomnia. If the heart is strong, the emotions will be positive and the person will be happy. If it is weak, the person will lack vitality and will be sad or depressed. If the heart is in excess, the person might show signs of mental illness such as mania or bipolar disorder. The state of the heart affects a person's ability to form and maintain relationships. Emotional problems due to difficult relationships can weaken the heart. The heart also houses the shen. The shen, or spirit, is the person's soul aspect. The heart is responsible for clear thinking when faced with life problems and long-term memory of past events. The kidneys, on the other hand, are responsible for short-term memory, and the spleen is responsible for thinking, concentrating, and memorizing. Fifth, the heart opens into the tongue. It controls the color, form, and appearance of the tongue. As an example, if heart fire is severe, the tongue can be red and painful, and there may be tongue ulcers. Alternatively, heart qi and blood deficiency can lead to a pale tongue. The heart controls the sense of taste. Again, as an example, heart fire can lead to a bitter taste in the mouth. The heart also controls speech, so imbalances in the heart often lead to stuttering and aphasia. The heart controls talking and laughing, so heart abnormalities can lead to talking incessantly or laughing inappropriately, and this can include nervous laughter. <laughs> Sixth, the heart controls sweat. Blood and body fluids have a common origin and interchange with each other. As an example, when blood is too thick, body fluids enter the vessels to thin it down. Since the heart governs the blood, and there is a mutual interchange between blood and body fluids, the heart is related to sweat. 
In five element theory, sweat is the fluid of fire or the heart. Because of this, when a patient is hemorrhaging, do not let him sweat as it may cause dehydration and may decrease the production of new blood. A patient who is sweating should never receive drying herbs. Heart chi deficiency can cause spontaneous sweating and to stop it we must strengthen heart chi and yang. Heart yin deficiency can cause night sweats and to stop it we must nourish yin and clear deficiency fire. In addition, excess sweating can cause body fluid deficiency which can then result in blood deficiency. As a final note, Jing, which is governed by the kidneys, Qi, which is governed by the spleen, and Shen, governed by the heart, are known as the three treasures. If any one of them is weak or deficient, the others will suffer. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you have questions, please contact me at joel at americandragon.com. In our next episode, we will address the functions of the liver. See you then.